Hello and welcome to AM Guitar. Today we are doing a little video on using guitar effects and why we might use them. This video is sponsored by Lead Guitar Toolkit. The key to killer lead guitar playing may already be in your pocket. This 4-in-1 guitarist multi-tool wants to make you a practice addict. With a rock and blues licks library, real field drum machine, variable key jam tracks and handy scale trainer, this Take Anywhere Toolkit makes mastering the fundamentals fun. Plus, it comes with this ebook free. Get yours today at leadguitartoolkit.com. Now, this video is being recorded straight into the camera. It's literally sat on top of oh, my phone, in fact, sat right on top of my amp. So the tone, the sound you get is the sound you're going to get. But I just wanted to do a quick video, and this was the easiest way to do it. So, uh, yeah, let's get on with it. So you've got your guitar. You're going straight into your amp and it will sound something like this. And that sounds great. You know, I'm just going to a boss guitar, straight from a guitar. Sounds lovely, and in a band, if you've got lots of people playing with distortion and effects, it cuts through lovely. But let's build up some standard effects. The first thing I'm going to add is some reverb. And that essentially emulates that moment when you walk into an empty room and shout and you get that kind of echoey sound. But it's not, not the same as the delay. It's just kind of a, a, a bigger sound. So I'm going to turn it up. Slightly more than I'd normally use, just for illustration. It just means the note doesn't die the minute you stop. Is that little bit around it. Then we'll turn it down and we'll start adding some more in. But that's the most common effect that people use and it just helps just say, build a bit of uh, depth to the tone. Next we're going to put some overdrive on. Now I'm using the OD3. Now overdrive essentially is emulating hitting a tube amp with volume. So... <laughs> Gives you a more raucous sound, a bit of rock and roll. Gives a bit more to your solo. And just makes it sound a bit edgier. Now if I stack this into an into a drive pedal, I've just a distortion pedal. start getting this extra sustain from all the drives and the compression that go on with the drives. Um, it sounds a bit heavier. You get that. And this isn't a heavy distortion. So. And just, again, it adds more kind of depth and breadth to that tone. And it just sounds cool. And then delay. Now delay, with reverb, you get that kind of that initial, the tone doesn't die, the, the, the note doesn't die. With delay, the note continues. So I'm going to turn off the distortion for a second. I'm using an analog delay. So if I go, you can hear it dies off. on together Closest most of us are going to get to sounding like we're playing in an arena. So if we go all the way back to the beginning, just with a little bit of the reverb, just because it's over there. Mm -hmm. 
In fact, we'll do the same. Do the same thing. you see it makes you play differently because the way that the delay especially interacts with the tone you actually start to to feel different as you play it you know that note there <laughs> slightly off pitch bend but that's why we use effects. We use effects to try and change that initial tone we get from the amp and add things to it that we find pleasing to our ears uh, and that inspire us to do interesting things. You know, um, putting a chorus on. <laughs> Or a war. Go for that ultimate kind of rock face of. And so on. Effects help you to find a tone that you're happy with and they inspire you and they just sometimes fill in the spaces um, left in a band where maybe you've got one or two guitarists and they, you know, a phaser can add a bit, of, um, a bit of a filler into that space when it doesn't need to, when it, when it needs something, you know, a phaser or a unifier or something can just add something to that tone. So yeah, experiment. Don't be afraid. Don't think that it's not being a purist going straight into an amp or, um, you know, using digital effects pedals is, is a sin or something. Try everything you can to find the tone that defines your playing style. As ever, like, subscribe, tell me what you think in the comments and I will see you again very, very soon. Cheers. Mm -hmm.